Well, ladies and gentlemen, it may have been the game of the year to this point in the Pac-12. Welcome back to Pullman, Washington. Arizona handing the Cougars their first loss of the season with an 86-82 victory in two overtimes. Greg Heister and Dan Dickow. And again, Dan, a lot of what we expected. Gritty defense and Isaac Bonton getting it done for Washington State. Yeah, both teams really came to play. They 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 tried to impart their style on the defensive end of the floor, and, and each team did to a certain extent throughout different parts of the game. But push comes to shove, it comes down to who's going to make big buckets. Isaac Bonton got hot down the stretch in the second half and really helped the Cougars get on a roll where they could force overtime. Bonton ended up with 25 points although it came off of 23 field goal attempts. Unfortunately for him, he struggled from the free throw line down the stretch. And for Arizona, Benedict Matherin, just a freshman, but man, you see the potential in this kid, don't you, Dan? Oh, uh, he is going to be special in Tucson. 24 points on only 10 field goal attempts. He did it from beyond the arc. He did it over the top, catching lobs, finishing. He did it in transition. He has poise beyond his years. He was instrumental in those two overtimes for Arizona. But look, neither coach is going to brag about the offensive performances in this game because the defenses were kind of highlighted throughout. Matherin with 24, Bonton with 25. The difference for Washington State might be down there, the bottom numbers. Yeah, those numbers, it's going to be hard to win any kind of game. If it's an up and down, fast paced game or a grinded out game like tonight, you shoot. 51% from the free throw line, you're putting yourself in a tough spot. But the Cougars had a chance. Yeah, Arizona now 9-1 and one on the season, 3-1 and one in Pac-12 play. Washington State their first lead, but man, you see it building in Pullman, don't you? 86-82 the final. Good night from Beasley Coliseum.